Okay, admit it. You still do this sometimes, don't you? Welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. It is bargain bag time. Yes, you ever notice that bargain bag time usually happens at the very beginning of the month instead of waiting to the end of the month? That's because it's probably my favorite feature to do. But anyway, yes, bargain bag is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of two mystery CD grab bags from the late Skips Records and CD World. And in between opening the two bargain bags, I will talk about a CD that uh, I have found or that you may be likely to find in the bargain section of a retailer near you, or inside one of the mystery CD grab bags themselves. Not saying it's not this time, but I'm not saying it is either. Uh, and But before I get to any of that stuff, I will quickly go over the CDs that were in last month's pair of bargain bags. And a mixed bag, pun intended, as usual. Uh, the first two CDs I actually did not listen to uh, for a couple of different reasons. This one, Faith is What You Do, it is um, the James Project Band. This is praise and worship music, uh, you know, the, the what I call the high-octane Christian music. So, yeah, not my thing. Uh, I, I don't, I won't ridicule it, it's just the lyrical content is lost on me. So, yeah, so much for that. The second one I did not listen to because it's one that I already have, and a friend of mine has already uh, uh, staked his claim to it. This is an a cappella group called On the Rocks. Uh, they were founded at the University of Oregon, the uh, local university in Eugene, and a very, very good group. And they got me into the group, uh, rock group called Guster because they cover one or two songs, I think, on this album. Maybe not both on this album, but uh, a couple of songs by Guster. Uh, they brought my attention to the boot band by way of their excellent, excellent a cappella arrangements. So, yeah. Good stuff, although you probably won't find it out of the... Uh, Eugene Springfield area, so. But uh, they do have, I'm pretty sure they have a web store. And check out their stuff. They've probably got a YouTube channel, I would imagine. Just great, great music if you love acapella music. And this one is a CD single from uh, the group Sleeper, which I had actually gotten a the full-length CD of theirs in a previous bargain bag last year. I guess it would have to be last year because I didn't do a bargain bag series in 2018. But yeah, okay stuff. I, I didn't keep the Sleeper album, so... I was not expecting to keep, to keep this single. It's okay, you know, just your basic rock and pop music. Uh, Wingspan is the uh, name of this uh, CD single or EP by Laurel McDonald. She's kind of like Enya, or maybe Enya mixed with Sarah McLaughlin is kind of what it, what it's like, you know, sort of, a little bit, or excuse me, Sarah Brightman, I guess. So yeah, you know, kind of uh, popera sort of new agey kind of stuff. Not really my thing. So. Uh, but not bad. As is all the case with this stuff, you know, not bad, just not my thing. And then a country artist, Radney Foster, not Randy Foster, Radney Foster. Uh, very typical country stuff from the early 90s, 92. Yeah, you know, just meh. I'm not a huge country fan anyway, so it would have had to have been something really extraordinary for me to glom onto it, so uh, not an unexpected outcome with that CD. And then we have classical music, um, instruments of classical music, the flute. So let's say, uh, the flute's greatest hits, I guess you'd say. And uh, not a bad arrangement of songs. If, if you like flute music, uh, you know, let me know. And as I you always keep forgetting to mention, if you want any of the cast-offs that I'm talking about here, if you live in the States, just uh, let me know. I would have, be happy to send them to you. No postage necessary. Just uh, let me know either in the comments below or in a direct message on Twitter. We can make arrangements. Uh, this one, um, I probably won't keep it, so you know, if you like uh, flute music especially, or classical music, let me know. Uh, Keith Martin, is a he's an R&B artist. Uh, you know, again, kind of like with Radney Foster, uh, this guy is, you know, perfectly competent, but, you know, nothing really, really ear-grabbing in terms of R&B music, so. And then uh, David Bowers and Watermelon Sugar. <laughs> This, this is not um, Harry Styles' version of Watermelon Sugar. This is totally different. This is uh, basically folk, country folk music. Yeah, you can see one guy's got a tambourine on the back of the uh, uh, package here. And, you know, electric guitars, tambourine, that kind of stuff. You know, not bad. Just, as I said, you know, not really, nothing really memorable for me. 
um, a jazz sampler, a contemporary jazz sampler from a Chicago area radio station. Uh, you know, again, not bad. It's uh, I, I've got you know I I like contemporary jazz, but you know, after a while, it starts sounding samey. You know, I hate to say that with uh, you know there's some really good artists out there, but you know when you get beyond them. Uh, Boney James and Dave Cause are two of the uh, standouts on here that, whose music I actually like. But then I've got the albums that both of that either of their tracks already appear on, so there's really no reason for me to keep this. If you want a contemporary jazz sampler, you know, as with anything else here, hit me up, and it's yours. Uh, and by the way, if you live outside the states, um, I might have to charge you for postage just because postage uh, overseas postage is a little bit pricey these days. I noticed. Um, now we're getting to my keepers. Uh, four keepers, but I will only be naming three because the fourth one is going to be my uh, Spotlight CD review coming up here in just a few minutes. Uh, Donna Lewis, uh, this is her, she is a Welsh pop musician, pop singer, and this is her debut album. Now in a Minute is the name of the album, and it's pretty good. Uh, I did not recognize her name or any, the names of any of these songs until I listened to uh, I Love You Always Forever, which is a strangely phrased title for a song, but that was a modest hit on pop radio in the mid 90s, late 90s, 1996. So yeah, I, I, when I heard it, I remembered hearing it on the radio and whatnot. So good stuff. Um, her, her voice is going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I am going to keep this CD just because uh, I, I kind of like, like it was a good first impression that it gave me. Let's put it that way. So yeah, that one I'll, I'll be keeping. And this next one I'll be keeping for a, a couple of reasons. Uh, this is Paul Prince, his album Ocean Bells. It is, as you can see at the bottom, Hawaiian slack key and Zimbabwean guitar. So yeah, basically world music, guitar based. And I wasn't expecting much out of this, but it ended up being a really enjoyable album. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get, uh, definitely get some repeat listens out of this. But also, an interesting coincidence, uh, this is autographed, and it's not just autographed by the artist, but it is Dear Tom, I'm not the Tom in question, full disclosure, but I thought still, I thought it was, you know, you know, Tom is a relatively common name, but I just thought, you know, what are the odds of this CD being autographed to Tom? So that's all the more reason for me to keep it. So definitely I'm going to get uh, more enjoyment out of this. So thank you, Paul, even though you didn't autograph it to me personally. But uh, yeah, that was fun. And uh, another one that was a lot of fun was the Forest Gum soundtrack. Yeah. It's, it's basically, uh, as I mentioned in the last Bargain Brag, this is basically a, a greatest hits of the 60s and 70s. Just fantastic. One hit after, after another from uh, rock and pop and folk music, because folk was kind of uh, fairly popular back in the 60s. Just a, a great selection of tunes here. I, had, I have never watched the movie. I know it's a hugely popular movie, but I've never seen it. I, I don't know why. I just never have. Uh, but th if the movie is anything like the soundtrack was, I've got to see the movie. So, yeah. And there you go. And this one, you'll only, only notice that I've mentioned 12 so far because the Forrest Gump soundtrack was a, what they call a chubby CD case. So it actually took up two, two spaces in one of the bags. So I only got 13 titles. I mean, you know, I got 14 CDs because this was two CDs, but I only got 13 titles in those two bags. And of course, the last one, as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to be saving for the review in between the two grab bags. And I forgot to grab the scissors. Hang on a second. Okay, I could open the bags without scissors, but uh, they help. So, let's dig into the first of the two Mystery CD Grab Bags for April of 2020. And let's give you the now traditional Pixies before I get to see what's in here. There you go, you get to look and see what's inside it before I do. Okay, now let's check out this selection of tunes here. Cosmic Rough Riders. Too Close to See Far. Makes sense to me. Uh, it's, it's apparently got a, yeah, it's a radio promo sticker on the front of it so you can't see the cover art. I have no idea who they are. Cosmic Rough Riders. It makes it sound like they're um, country, but who knows. I enjoy checking them out. Then we have Introducing Chris Riffle. Not heard of this guy before, so... Uh, I don't know, kind of looks like maybe he's a folk pop artist. That's one thing I love to do is just to guess what kind of genre, what genre or what type of music it is just by looking at the cover art. Yeah, 2010 is the copyright down on this one. So yeah, I will definitely enjoy listening to that one. 
then we have, oh, it's a CD that's still sealed. Now playing. Apparently that is the name of the group because it's just, it doesn't have artists and titles on the back, just titles. So apparently it's a group called Now Playing, whom I have never heard of before. So The theme, uh, usually more often than not with these bargain bags, is I've never heard of them. And we have a classical CD, Popular Overtures, Franz von Suppe, Giacchino. They have him list, uh, shown on here as Rossino, but it's Rossini, rather professionally done CD if they misspell the classical composer's name. And then we have Maestro Clark, the 100% Tapes Maxi Single. I'm guessing this is hip hop. I'm not holding out expectations for that one. But you never know. Which is kind of the cool thing about this bargain bag, is you never know what you're going to get. Like Forrest Gump would say. And here we have another classical CD, I think, by Smithsonian Folkways label. So maybe it's, it's, maybe it's folk. An anthology of Welsh music and song. That'll be interesting to listen to. Yeah, don't mind checking out some... Uh, some ethnic or uh, traditional folk music. And then we have hmm, Gloritone. And the name of the album is Cup Runneth Over. So that kind of suggests uh, contemporary Christian. But who knows? So I will uh, have fun listening to this. So quick as a wink, that's the first of the two bargain bags. Okay, now on to my CD review for today, and if you were paying really close attention, and if you have a really good memory, you know what CD I'm about to talk about here, because it's the one, the one that was missing from my openings on The Last Bargain Bag. And this is the one that probably took me most by surprise. Well, maybe the, the Paul Prince CD took me a little bit more by surprise, because I was expecting nothing out of that one. And although this one I was not expecting to like either, but I ended up enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. It is 98 Degrees and Rising, the sophomore album by boy band 98 Degrees. Now, back in the day, I was a Backstreet Boys fan, I was an NSYNC fan, and a couple other boy bands that uh, not quite nearly as many people in the States have heard of. Really, really enjoyed them. I never did care for 98 Degrees very much, because most of their singles were ballads, which was at least in terms of this album was misleading because this album had a lot more funk and uh, you know upbeat stuff than I expected it to have hence why I enjoyed it so much uh, but yeah it's like you know I just never cared much for 98 Degrees uh, this one might change my mind though I might seek out their other albums I'm not sure yet but yeah this is really really good uh, they're they're one of their big hit singles uh, the hardest thing is the next to last track on this album which that's one thing that's kind of unusual with uh, when it came to boy bands their hit their singles would usually be the first couple of tracks in the album that's where they all seem to be always where the singles came from so yeah the next to last track is actually the biggest single off this album and that's actually where the album is at its best is in the second half um you know there were some fine songs in the first half uh, i do cherish you i think that was that was a pretty good one if i recall correctly and because of you that was a, another good one but yeah in the second half is where this album really hits it and my favorite song on the album is probably True to Your Heart, which features Stevie Wonder, and that just completely elevate the, elevates the song to a new level. Uh, he uh, Not only do you hear his signature classic unmistakable harmonica on that song, but he also participates in vocal duties. And that's just, yeah, that just, for me, that just wins the album. That makes the album that song. Oh, what's the other song on here? Uh, oh, she's out, she's out of My Life is the closing track, and that is an a cappella rendition of the Michael Jackson song, Stellar. I mean... The, that that ranks right up there with the uh, closer on In Sinks No Strings Attached. That that's also an a cappella song. Um, I thought she knew. So yeah, this one ranks right up there with that. So yeah, this was actually, as I said, a much more enjoyable album than I expected it to be. So if you've never checked out Ninety Eight Degrees, I would recommend this album. Of course, I haven't heard any of their other albums, uh, and I always thought that the the single that came on the album after this one, uh, Give Me Just One Night, Una Noche. I just thought that one was absolutely cheesier than cheesy. Uh, so, granted, I haven't listened to it in a long time, so I could possibly form a fresh opinion uh, coming back to it after so long. But still, it's just you know, just what comes to mind with that song is pure cheese. But that song is fortunately not on this album. But yeah, give it a try. Uh, 98 degrees and rising. If if you like boy band pop, check out that that album. It's just it's it's pretty good, I think.
Okay, and now on to the final grab bag of April 2020. It's got a big, uh, big tail on it, doesn't it? That's what I'll call it, is a tail. And now, the grand opening. And the customary Pixies. There you go. And let's check out what's in here. Oh, this is this is definitely a hip hop album. Uh, Cassidy, I'm a hustler. Oh well, yeah, it's it's definitely hip hop, approaching gangster rap territory. Yes, I'm not holding out much hope for that one. I'm trying to position the bag so that I can show them to you directly without having to flip them over. Then we have picture. Torolson picture. I have no idea what this album is called, who the artist is, I don't know. But it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven track album. It looks like new age or um, ambient, possibly contemporary classical maybe, but it, it looks to me like new age. Uh, yeah, I might end up liking it, you know, as is the case with all these, I might end up liking them. We have, oh, I've seen this one on the shelves at various stores, Bobby Gaylor. Uh, the cover looks familiar to me anyway. I don't know what it sounds like, but uh, Fuzzatonic Scream is the name of the album, which makes me even more curious to listen to it. 2000, I think. They make the copyright information on the back cover ridiculously small, so I can't read it. And then we have... Oh, a compilation. Central Park Summer Stage from the City Parks Foundation. And... That could be fun to listen to. Oh, ben Folds and Thomas Mafubo, Simon Shaheen, NRBQ, Celia Cruz. Uh, not a lot of big names on here, but Ben Folds, it looks like the big... Oh, Ben Folds and Guster. I only read as far as Ben Folds. But yeah, he duets with Guster on here. Cool. That'll be interesting to listen to. So yeah. Very cool. I'm looking forward to listening to that one. And then what do we have? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Freeloaders, Northwest Coast. I assume Freeloaders is the name of the band. Yeah, it looks kind of like go oh, funk rock, pop, funk, punkish stuff. I, like I said, I, I enjoy trying to guess at what uh, genre these CDs are. I have absolutely no idea what that's going to be. So, uh, Bertine. This is a pop artist. Uh, Morbid Late Night Show is the name of the album. Put on your dancing shoes and check out this club record from a new Norwegian artist. I don't mind if I do. I'll be curious to hear what this is like. If it gets too dancey, too clubby, that's where it loses me. So, you know, but if it's, you know, decent stuff with, with decent uh, verse chorus, verse chorus structure, I'll end up liking it. So that one's, yeah, that's another one I'm looking forward to checking out. And then we have Thermidor. Hmm. Monkey on Rico. You got me. I will have time to peruse it in more depth later on, but uh, yeah. So, there you have it. Another very, very interesting selection of CDs for Bargain Bag for listening over the next month. Uh, and I may have a whole lot of time to listen to, more time on my hands that I know what to do with for listening to music. So. Anyway, that will do it for Bargain Bag for the month of April 2020. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Suggestions, questions, constructive criticisms, lay them on me in the comment section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the link to my Twitter feed and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos. And be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and healthy out there, everyone. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.